Hello traders welcome back to the channel this is Umar with you hope you are all doing great so today was a very important day in terms of reserve bank of india reserve bank of india came out today morning at 10 am they came out with a interest rate decision and they have maintained it at around 6.5% and this is the 11th consecutive time they are maintaining interest rate at 6.5 now apart from that if you ask me what they have done they have not done anything with regards to Uh, MSF or margin uh, marginal standing facility, which is around six point seven five percent, or they have not done anything with the uh, standing deposit facility, which is around uh, which is SGF, which is around six point. I think six point two five percent. So there is not much. There is not much anything for us. But what they have. Uh, what they have done is they have reduced the cash reserve ratio so what does that mean is you are going to get more calls from telesales to top up your loan to get or to get a new credit card or maybe they are ready to give you more loans why am i saying this is because uh, uh, they have reduced the cash reserve ratio from previous 4.5% to around 4% which is a cut off 50 basis point Uh, now uh, now uh, if you don't know what is cash reserve ratio let me tell you in uh, layman terms <clears throat> let's say you are depositing 1 crore rupees in some scheduled commercial bank what the bank has to do is they have to keep a deposit of 4.5% in reserve bank of india right so you have deposited 1 crore so 4.5 lakhs they have to keep as keep as res, uh, keep as reserve at reserve bank of india now they don't have to deposit around 4.5 lakhs they can deposit only 4 lakhs because they have reduced the cash reserve ratio to around 4.5% from earlier 4% so so what they mean is banks will have lots of cash to lend to people for maybe commercial for maybe credit card for car loan for personal loan or let's say mortgage loan also right so this is what they have they are saying and why they are doing this is because to boost the economy now if you are going to boost the economy you should have decreased the interest rate that they are not ready to do right instead of reducing the interest rate they are favoring the bank that is what mr shaktikant das has done today of course uh, we cannot complain uh, Sak mr shaktikant das he is the rbi governor uh, sitting here we cannot complain him and uh, today uh, meeting could be the final meeting for governor shaktikant das as his term ends later this month Uh, they have uh, favored the banks they have not favored the people of india or they have not done anything good for people of india right of course economically you are going to boost the country by reducing the cash reserve ratio means banks are going to give huge funds to not you or me they are go, uh, they are giving huge funds to maybe corporates uh, corporates right so that that way rbi has favored the bank and they have favored the corporate now not any poor people or people like you and me in this country right so this is on us now and when you consider the policy with uh, market it is of no use and i am and i am surprised like uh, i was thinking that maybe there is going to be a interest rate reduction maybe they will reduce it from 6.5 to around 6 uh, uh, 6% that is why market is making two way three way move and looking at yesterday's market movement uh, this is what i was thinking so okay they are going to reduce the interest rate there is going to be some good news but when seeing this uh, report i was thinking uh, did institutional traders really do all this drama yesterday for this rbi policy that's why i was uh, that's what i was thinking apart from above when it comes to economic outlook uh, gdp is uh, projected to reach around 6.6% uh, for fy 2025 down from previous estimate of 7. 2% meanwhile inflation is expected to hit 48% that is uh, higher than earlier forecast that uh, we know already right anyway i don't want to talk uh, go briefly into this all we have to look or all we have to consider is about the market only so let us see what is happening in terms of market what is my perspective what is the open interest showing what are fi is doing so on and so forth and uh, of course uh, today market was super flat it is obvious because yesterday's the way they moved the market 
daily if they move the market it doesn't make sense to be in this market right they will freak out all the retailers they need uh, they need retailers to fund the uh, fund them right so let us see what is happening in terms of market and let us see where the market co could go in the near future is what we are going to see so this is a chart daily chart uh, not a, a hourly chart and uh, you can i have uh, done some uh, analysis on this chart now when it comes to analysis i can tell you i may be right i may go wrong there are few things which you have to consider now if you ask me what is this chart showing or what is in this chart for us you can see a large red candle here right let me clear the old drawings yeah let me clear the old drawings now if you see here there is a big red uh, bar here right so what does this say this is saying that there are huge short position by institution at around 24000 to 24800 to around 25000 so if you can see this level you can understand that from 25000 to around 24800 they are having huge levels at uh, huge uh, orders at uh, these levels right now second thing is if you see here this red bar so this red bar signifies that there are too many short positions when you compare it with long position there are too many short position so long to short it is only 29 percent so the least number it is the higher the probability of reversing now that is what has happened yesterday if you had if you if you if you have seen this yesterday the market correctly rejected at around 24,000, and it is moving on the sideways now now we have to if the market has to move on the higher side let's say hypothetically if the market has to move uh, beyond 25,000 there is a very very big hurdle at around this area and you can see here let me draw a line for you uh, let me uh, yeah let me draw a line for you right yeah if i draw a line for you where is that yeah if i draw a line for you this line if you can see here there is a rejection at around on uh, friday 20 uh, uh, friday october 4 there was a rejection and at around uh, uh, let me close this at around uh, Monday, uh, September 24th, there was a rejection and this area, here it was a rejection which was on 23rd of August. So there are rejections at this area. So that is why we have seen a rejection at around 24,800. So it is a psychological resistance which was a support is now a psychological resistance. So they have written huge number of uh, huge num they have huge number of orders at around 24600 uh, 24700 to 25000 now if in order for the market to go on the higher side or in order for the market to go up this has to be broken if this is not broken then we might uh, then we might have to retrace and even if it is a retrace i don't see it coming down below 24000 and that is where they have written huge orders you can see this right as simple as that and in terms of bank nifty there is a huge uh, writing uh, let me op uh, let us open the bank nifty so there is some issues uh, in terms of our internet connection that's why uh, time sometimes we are not able to open the charts so let me check one more time so that i can explain uh, what i saw in bank nifty was there is a huge uh, positional uh, orders at around 50 uh, 3 uh, 50 uh, where is uh, yeah around uh, 53 uh, 500 levels or i think we are above 53 500 levels around uh, 54 levels let me open it again one more time so that you can understand what i am trying to say right yeah if you see this one let me open uh, if you see this one you can clearly understand let it open so at, yeah uh, yes so what happens is in terms of bank nifty is uh, see i'm not trying to say i am short in this market uh, we, uh, i am long in this market in fact i have long positions also what we are trying to say is in order for the market to go on the higher side there need to be a very very good trigger which is missing now uh, if we if we talk about this uh, uh, what to say this uh, 
uh, event policy event there could be uh, yeah this is the chart and you can see here it is self explanatory right and there is a huge uh, institutional order at 54500 levels right so let us see if the market has to if the market has to really go on the higher side we need a trigger and uh, both nifty and bank nifty we need a trigger and uh, we thought today's uh, trigger uh, today's uh, rbi policy could be a potential trigger but it was not as what we thought uh, it is opposite of what we thought so i know uh, like if you are telling me this whatever happened is already predicted already priced in of course you are 100% true but we will see what happens so i am saying it again in terms of uh, uh, nifty this is my perspective i can go right i can go wrong so this is my perspective this is the chart we are having huge positions at 24500 for the market to go on the higher side it we need a, a strong trigger at the same time if you see on the downside uh, we see 24000 which is having huge order as a good support so 24800 uh, to 24500 is a resistance and 24000 is a good support and in terms with regards to bank nifty uh, we can say 53800 or 53800 levels is a yeah 54000 sorry 54500 level is a good resistance and in on the bottom uh, maybe around uh, 50 this gap is not yet taken 53000 is a good level in terms of bank nifty so that is what we expect anyway we don't have any short positions we are having all delta neutral positions even if the market is coming on the downside we will change that to delta positive to delta negative so let us see how things work out i'll see you in at another video till then take care bye